thank you everybody for coming today. Thank you everybody who came over the last few days. And thank you everybody who has involved themselves in this amazing, growing social movement that we have here in the Northern Rivers. There's a moment in history when what the, the gap between what is happening and what everybody knows to be true and the right thing to do is so large that people have to act in defence of what they believe. These moments in history are rare and important. Many of the good things that make up our civil society, our civilization, our democracy have come from people's actions at these moments. When laws are wrong, when laws offend the most basic principles of care for each other, for our health, for the rivers, for the life support systems, for the farming lands. When laws are wrong and threaten all of these things, this is a time when we need to step up. And that's what we're doing. And when laws are wrong, this is when people have been brave and in a non-violent way acted for what they believe. There was a moment in the United States when African American people were denied every, just about every right you could imagine. And one woman decided one day to break the law. She walked down the back of the truck of the bus. She broke the law. She refused to walk to the back of the bus and sat at the front of the bus where white people were only allowed to sit. And that was the beginning of a powerful social movement that eventually changed some very wrong laws. So, Gandhi, when the British were doing terrible things to the Indians, who, and, and really exploiting them. And the Indian people needed to find their way to self-determination. Gandhi organized a salt march because it was illegal for Indian people to produce their own salt. So he organized a march to the ocean and everybody walked and more and more people joined the walk and they walked into the ocean and got some salt water and said, we're going to make our own salt. They broke the law. And that was the beginning of a very powerful and effective and non-violent social movement that gave the Indian people their self-determination. So fortunately, we have fabulous traditions of non-violent social movements to draw on. And that's what we're doing here. That's what we're doing from this moment on. This is just the beginning. We are going to get stronger and stronger and more and more intelligent in the way we go about our nonviolent social movements. And it is wonderful to see the huge variety of people involved in this. We know from the communities who've done their own grassroots surveys, we know there is no social license for this industry, this invasive industry. Wherever the community have done their own surveys, they've gone to every household in their community, they find the vast, vast majority of people say, we want to be gas field free. And in Richmond Valley, Shire, that's been the case. 85% of people, wherever this survey, grassroots survey has been done, want to be gas field free. And this shows us that there's no social license for the industry. 
We also know the industry is invasive. Once it starts in one place, it will spread from there. There'll be a network of pipes, wells, holding ponds. It will be something that we will regret if we let it grab hold of this region. So we're not going to do that. We're going to keep working together. We are every single kind of person that you can imagine in the Northern Rivers. We are the majority of the people. We are farmers. We are teachers. We are all different kinds of people. And uh, I'm, I'm heartened and I believe we can do this. I believe we can succeed. It will take a long time. We need to be realistic about our expectations and not go into uh, you know, any kind of despair <laughs> because the reality is that in the long run, the United citizens cannot be defeated. Woo! 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 I'm proud to be a part of this community and uh, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. So thank you everybody. Woo! Woo! Woo!